Hey everybody, Trinar2 here, and welcome back to the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. We last left off. Well, it seems like somebody, possibly Gina Lestrade, has broken to Wendy Banks Jewelers. We're out here on the street, scoping it out. Let's see what happens. Come, there's not a moment to lose. Clearly, something is afoot inside. Also, a hand. Sorry, I'm a dad. I have to make stupid dad jokes. There's no one here. Oh, yes. There is. Well, we are now, aren't we? Trust me. Ooh, hold on. There's blood on the calendar there. Okay. Clearly something's happened here, but also, like, should we be showing up on the scene like this? Because now we are in the wrong. Bang. Ah! Did Susato get shot? No, Mr. Sholmes. Mr. Sholmes! What the? Has Sholmes been shot? Leave me, Mr. Narahoto. But, after them, go! Right. After who? I didn't recognize those silhouettes. Blast. I've lost them. Hello, hello, what have we have here? The alarm was just raised from this pawnbroker, sir. Would you know something about that? Officer, come with me. It's my friend, Mr. Sholmes. He's been shot. Shot? With the policeman close behind me, I ran back to Wendy Banks. Candle and lantern. Oh, cutscene. I'll be quiet. <gasps> Mr. Jones! Mr. Narado! How bad is it? Ah, never mind me, but there's much at stake. Behind that door! Uh, In the storeroom. Uh, hurry. Uh, uh, oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Also, Mr. Windybank, we <laughs> we just don't care about him, huh? Oh my goodness, this one, uh, is Gina all right? To be continued. Save, yeah. I love the music in this game. Some of the best music I've, I've had in a game in a long time. Complete, let's go back. Bang. Ah! I'll be all right, Mr. Narodo. After them, go! Doing like a mini flashback here. Well, that doll is very pixel... Or not pixelated, but has very low polygon count. I didn't read that, I'm sorry. I'm just focused on the doll. Oh, she has a gun in her hand. It's Gina... I don't see any injury on her. Maybe she was knocked out. Her finger's on that trigger, though. From that moment, Windebeck's palm brokery became a crime scene. You think? Everything that followed happened in a whirlwind of activity. The arrival of the police, the preliminary investigation of the scene, and the questioning... It was just before dawn before I was allowed back to my lodgings at 221B. Sixteenth of April, six twenty one AM, Naruhoto's legal con consultancy. Not Consul Sansi consultancy. <laughs> oh Iris. A telegram came, but all it said was, 
Wait at home. Oh yes, we asked one of the policemen to have it sent. It was simply impossible to come back. When I woke up, I was all alone. Hurley and Jenny were gone, everyone was gone. What happened, Runa? Poor Iris, she's trembling. She's obviously trying very hard not to let herself get too worried. I'll explain everything that I know. Something awful has happened, hasn't it? Yes. I'm afraid so. Alright, well, examine again. Beep, beep, beep. Shovel again. Spade has been here since we started renting the place. Bruno, that's not a spade, it's a shovel. Ah, you're a shoveler, are you? I had a feeling you'd pick me up on that. Oh no. A pick is something else entirely. I see. Now I've dug myself into an even deeper hole. Dad joke. There. Ooh. Tea? This is a tea set, right? So this is a tea set that Miss Usado brought with her from Japan. Let's hope she hasn't noticed me sip, slipping sugar and milk into my cup when she makes it. It's just so bitter. Susie's lovely green tea has had quite an impact on Hurley, you know. He stopped putting milk and sugar in his coffee, even. And Hurley is normally bitterly opposed to bitterness. Okay, so are we going to be able to look yeah, look at absolutely everything and then get her opinion on it as well? It's spring at last and the weather is warmer now. But I love the smell of the fire and the steam rising from the kettle. Oh, how about some tea, Runo? What, does she have a thermos? Thanks, Iris, but I'm alright for now. With the green tea Susato makes with me from time to time, and Iris' unique herbal infusions, this place is paradise for a true tea lover. If you're sure, you know I always have plenty whenever you're feeling thirsty. Aww, so nice. Desk. We've only been here in London for about two months, but my desk is starting to look a little messy already. Hurley's desk is far worse, you know. I'm sure if I try hard enough, I can make my desk as messy as Mr. Sholmes's. Hmm. I wonder. You don't think I can? Well, it takes a certain genius to reach that level of disorder, you know. Hmm. The path to a true mess is long and arduous, it seems. There's like a certain amount of truth to what she said, too. Alright, let's look at the creepy doll. What is this thing? The Daruma doll. I brought one me from home, still with only one eye colored in. I said I'd color in the other eye once I won my first court case here in Britain, but... That's cruel, only letting it have one eye. Yes, but it's because I don't consider myself a good enough lawyer yet, you see. Once I become a fully-fledged lawyer, Miss Usado will color in the other eye for me. Well, in that case, why not color in the other eye now? And then every time you win a new case, give it an extra eye. I like that plan. Just make it a ball of eyes. You can never have too many eyes, you know. Call me crazy, but I never considered that. Okay. Looks like nothing else here. Can we go over just by pressing this? Nope. Do you know I've never seen inside Miss Susato's room? I haven't so much as put my head around the door. Oh, Susie often invites me up. It's so much fun. Really? What's her room like? I can't tell you that. Oh. The young maiden's private chamber is a place of bittersweet secrets, you know. Where have I heard that before? I suppose some things are the same the world over. We did hear that before. Was that on the ship? I think it was on the ship we heard that. Alright. The aquarium? We were rather lucky to find that old aquarium left behind here. The prawns we put in there are doing rather well, and the anemones too. Apparently, tanks like those were very popular in London before I was born. Oh? You mean they're not anymore? I think people discovered it was too much effort to clean them out and change the water all the time. I can believe that. Prawns and anemones are fun for a while. And this. 
Oh, this looks like a telegram. It is, but you mustn't open it. Not under any circumstances. All right, I won't. Now then, let's see. She gonna look through. No, what did you just say? You mustn't open it. Don't worry, I won't. With this special concoction I've developed, I'll be able to see through the envelope without having you open it. No, that's not allowed either. Oh, but I'm sure it's something important. Little geniuses sure can be mischievous. I say we should have let her look. Alright, I don't see anything else here. So now it's time to converse. Oh, there's three. Events at Windebanks. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Iris, but Mr. Windybank is dead. He was shot. We discovered it in the early hours of the morning. Oh, yes. I had a feeling. You did? Well, I saw all those police carriages pulling up outside his shop, so I knew something must have happened there. When we entered Windybanks in the small hours, we disturbed a gang of two thugs. They ran out onto the street and I chased after them, but they got away. So it was one of them who shot old Mr. Windybank, I suppose. I don't know, but that's not what the police believe at the moment. Oh, why not? They've arrested someone else at their prime, as their prime suspect, you see. Yeah, Jenny. Gina. J Jenny? But, but why? Well, the thing is, what happened was, no, Jenny wouldn't do something like that. I know, I know. None of us think she did it. Then why have they arrested her? So she's going to be our defendant, right? Is the Reaper of the Bailey going to come back? I'm sorry. There was nothing I could do. Sholmes' situation. So where's Hurley then? Is he still there investigating the scene? He really ought to have some breakfast. It's not good for him to miss meals. I miss meals all the time, and I feel fine. I don't want you to worry, Iris, but I have some news about Mr. Sholmes. He was taken to the hospital this morning. What? Well, um, when we entered Windy Banks, a gun was fired and he took a bullet. But Hurley was shot? N no, no. It's, it's all right. His life isn't in danger. Really? Are you sure? Where is he? Which hospital? He's, he's at St. Sinners. St. Sinners? They're tending to him there. I must see him, at once. I'm sorry, Iris, but you can't. Why not? That's not fair. I'm a family member, I should be allowed. No, I mean, nobody can see him at the moment. He's not allowed any visitors. They're preparing to operate, you see. To, to operate? Oh, poor Hurley. Injured Sholmes. It was the two thugs who were in Mr. Windybank's shop. They shot Mr. Sholmes when we disturbed them, you see. It was pitch black inside the shop at the time. My mind went totally blank, I'm afraid. I, I just froze. After them. Go. After that, I ran out into the street, but, well, they were long gone. I shouldn't have, have hesitated. I'm so sorry, it's my fault. I let them get away. I think that's a very good thing. Sorry? Well, if you'd seen which way they went and chased after them, you might have been shot as well, Runo. On top of everything else, I couldn't bear that. Oh, Iris. Somebody give that poor girl a hug? What is it with this game and us not hugging people? Susato's situation. Where's Susie, Runo? She's still at the police station. Oh, why? I expect she's still being questioned. The police said they wouldn't be finished for a while. Why aren't you there, then? Well, I didn't get a good look at the criminals anyway, so they weren't questioning me for long. 
and Miss Usado stayed behind at the scene to tend to Mr. Sholmes, so they didn't get started with her. Or they didn't get started until later. Ah, uh, I see. Besides, one of us had to come back to be with Iris. I'm glad Inspector Gregson agreed to me leaving early. You should have let me know and I wouldn't have come to the station. Or I would have come to the station. Gina's arrest. I don't understand why they arrested Jenny. It's not fair. What about the two thugs that were at the scene? Why aren't they the prime suspects? After all, they shot Hurley dead, didn't they? No, I mean, Mr. Sholmes isn't dead, Iris. Arr, this is also horrible. The thing is, Mr. Windybank was found on the floor in the storeroom where he keeps all the deposited articles. And the storeroom door was locked from the inside. Yeah, but you could reach through that opening and lock it. I see. But he wasn't alone in there. Gina was found next to him on the floor as well. Oh no. And according to the detectives who investigated afterwards... Don't tell me. There was no one else in the room? Yes, exactly. How did you know? Well, here's the thing. She could have been in there. Well, this is probably the most likely thing. She could have snuck in there to try to steal the manuscript. Mr. Windybank came in there and found her. Then the thugs came in to rob the place, killed Windybank, and then Gina could have locked herself in there to try to keep the thugs from killing her. It appears Mr. Windybank fell inside the room on his face after being shot. So, yeah, she could have closed the door and locked it to try to keep herself from getting shot, which would be why she's on the side. Um, I don't know why she would be asleep. Maybe she got knocked out. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. How do you know? It's the only explanation. Yes, the only explanation indeed. What do you mean by that, Runo? Well, uh, what can I say? I'm damned if I agree. Damned if I don't. That's why Jenny was talking about how she wouldn't feel good being represented by a lawyer here because that was like foreshadowing that she's going to need to be represented by a lawyer. Poor Iris, give her a hug. I'm afraid I'll need to go out again now, Iris. There's not much I can do at the moment, but I can at least try to find out how Mr. Sholmes and Gina are getting on. I want to go too. Take me with you, Runo. Yeah, why not? I can't stand just sitting around here waiting. I'm not sure how I feel about taking a 10-year-old child to the scene of a murder. But I don't want to leave her alone here, either. Alright then, Iris. Perhaps you can help me? Yeah, she's super smart. She, I think she's the smartest one out of all of us. Oh yes, I'd love to. Gina's at the prison. Mr. Sholmes is probably in his hospital bed. And don't forget, we have to visit the crime scene. We need to conduct a thorough investigation. Ah, I can see you're ready for action. I imagine Iris would appreciate going to the hospital sooner rather than later. Okay. One, let's make sure there's nothing else to examine in here. The shovel is still checked. Everything is checked. All right, so we're good. I want to go to the crime scene first. Just so I can make sure whatever I find in the crime scene lines up with Susado and Mr. Sholmes' story. But they hinted at me that I need to go to the hospital first. So we'll go to the hospital first. A new location has been added. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Muted the mic for that. Alright, so we're going to go to... Here we go. We got the hospital and the prison. See, that says as quickly as possible, too. Let's go see Mr. Sholmes first. Oh, God, this is a horrible-looking hospital. Oh, this is bad. 
16th April, St. Sinner's Hospital, Ward 3. Hurley. Oh. He's not here. No, that's strange. The nurse definitely said he was in the bed by the window, didn't she? Oh, I know what's probably happened. Hurley was being the big baby and the bullet wound wasn't that bad after all, so he's been sent home. Mm, I'm not so sure about that. Baby or not, there's no question that it was a fairly serious injury that Mr. Sholmes suffered. Oh. Hello, hello, what do we have? What have we here? This ward is off limits, no visiting, so what are you doing in here, A? Hey. Well, I'll have you know, we're Hurley's next of kin. Eh? Oh. Well, begging your pardon then, ma'am, sir. A little lady and a curious eastern gentleman. The great mystery solver as mysterious family. Okay. That's how you see us? Uh, sure. Where is he, Constable? Where's Hurley? I believe he's currently in the operating theater, ma'am, undergoing an extensive operation. Extensive? It has been several ho hours since he went in. Oh dear. Is he going to be all right? Well, it doesn't appear to be working, you see. Ooh, ooh. Is he going to die? The anesthetic, it is. Oh. I have heard a report that the gentleman claims he may have had a little too much to drink last night. Coffee, that is. So he's just wired. He's probably on amphetamines. Anyway, I think I would be, it would be fair to say he won't be back here for several hours yet. I see. Thank you, Constable. Perhaps we should leave and come back later. Oh, poor Harley. Welp. Let's examine his room. Starting from the left. Movements are very rigid because I'm using the keyboard. All right, what is this? There's a notice board on the wall here. Look, let's see. What does it say? Thought of the day on seeing any vermin calmly and discreetly inform matron. Oh yes, they have rats and mice in hospitals like this that love to feast on all the medicine. If you don't deal with them, there's nothing left to treat the patients. Rats and mice. Oh, I see. This is a rather old building, I suppose. But the doctors and nurses are all very good, I hear. Certainly hope so, for Mr. Sholmes' sake. Rats and mice. Trash can? No. The bed looked like it was a thing we could look at. Yep. This must be Mr. Sholmes' bed. Poor Hurley. I know. It looks as stiff as a board, doesn't it? Oh, I don't think that would bother him. No? I often found him asleep face down on the floor, completely dead to the world. Sounds like Mr. Sholmes may have a problem with uppers, and then he crashes. He may also be manic depressive. I'm not judging, but he seems to have severe mood swings. I think I'd call the police if I discovered someone like that. Okay, can we look at his chart? Out of all the things here, his chart would be the most interesting to look at, and we can't look at it? Okay. Um, nightstand, wash basin. Okay, nothing so far. What's on this side? Uh, medicine cabinet, another bowl, another bed, crutches. Can't look at this chart either. Crutches. Wonder what these are. Do you have any idea, Iris? Oh, haven't you ever seen crutches before? Let me explain. They're for people with leg injuries. To help them walk, you hold one under, one under each arm, you see. Ah, right. I thought they were weapons of some sort. Why would there be weapons in a hospital? I don't know, there's rats in here. I thought maybe a fighter had been injured in a battle contest and been brought here along with his weapons. That's 
surprisingly plausible. Um, okay, so there's not a lot going on in the hospital, and to be honest, there really shouldn't be. It's not really directly connected to the crime. Uh, so let's go somewhere else. Since we've went ahead and talked to Hurley, we should probably go ahead and talk to Miss Usado, then go to the crime scene. Prison time, let's go. This is the same prison cell that they use for, uh, oh, what was his name? The Edgar Allan Poe looking dude. 16th of April, local prison, cell 13. It may be a different cell, but like the imagery is the same. Oh yeah, this isn't Miss Susato. This is uh, Gina. Where is Miss Susato at? She's at the police station. Okay. Hello, Gina. What are you doing? Where are your friends? Oh, you still have the grenade launcher Hurley and I made. I wish she would have pointed at me at all the time, though. If she shot it now, it would just, like, stop on the bars there and probably injure her. What are you here for? Jenny, I have a feeling it's because of us that you've ended up in trouble. So we're thinking that we might be able to help you. Well, you can't. Sorry? You heard. Get lost. Don't be like that, Jenny. I know you didn't do it. You'd never shoot someone. I just know you wouldn't. You think you know me? Pull the other one. What does that mean, pull the other one? You ain't got the first idea about the likes of me. Does that mean think about the other side of it? Or try the other side? Is that what that means? I'm a thief. I pinch people's purses when they're walking down the street. That's how I get by. And if I saw my chance, I'd sneak into a pawn shop in any day of the week. Just to see what I could lay my hands on. Get it? That's the kind of person I am. But, but Jenny. I'll be in a court tomorrow, they said. Some cove came by before and said he'd be a lawyer for me or the like. Said it was my right or something. But I told him to get stuffed. I don't need no lawyer. I don't need no one. She couldn't be staring at me in any more at any more obviously if she tried. Why are you being like this, Jenny? Can we exam we can't examine here. Let's converse. Legal representation. I don't understand, Gina. Why did you send the public defender away? He wanted me to sign some papers, representing papers or something like that. It's all going to be rigged anyway, the whole trial. They'll pin it on me because I'm a kid. That's what grown-ups always do. Why do you think that? Because that's how it's always been for me, growing up in the back slums. My, me whole life. If you do what the grown-ups tell you, it'll get your mates dragged off by the coppers or worse. I've had it happen to me before and all. Been sold out and nearly snaffled on the back of it. You can't trust no one, that's the point. As soon as you do, you're gone to grass, dead. Gina, listen, if you like in tomorrow's trial, I could forget it. Jenny, don't you trust Runa? Nah, I don't. Look, I'll ask you nicely now. Just leave me alone. And immediately we're going to ask her another question. What happened? Will you tell us what happened, Gina? Last night at the pawnbrokers. There's nothing to tell. I figured it'd pay me, so I broke into the place and started going through the storeroom. But the old bloke walked in on me, and you know the rest. But why, Jenny? Why would you do that? Ain't it obvious? The place is full of stuff I could sell for a shilling or two. Diving ain't easy, you know. It's a lot of work, and half the time you don't even get nothing. Is that really why you broke into place? What? Are you sure the true reason wasn't something else? I'll give it a rest. What'd be the point anyway, eh? Nothing I could say would make a blind bit of difference. Please tell us, Jenny. We'll believe you, whatever it is. 
Believe me? Don't be daft. You can't believe nothing. Everyone lies all the time. Ain't you know what? When it comes to liars, I'm the biggest of the lot. I've told some unforgivable lies I have. But what do you mean by that? What unforgivable lies? Wanna ask her about the unforgivable lies? Next episode, thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider a like, a comment, or a subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.